All right, back in business. Picking up some speed. Okay, I know this part of the river pretty good, so should be okay now. Famous last words. <laughs> no, really, I, I know this part of the river. Let's go along here, heading towards Mike's bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no really, I really do know this part of the river pretty good. <laughs> Mike's bar is just around the corner. Just around the corner here. I can just get there without fucking up. <laughs> yeah. So close to the end of this quest to complete Act 1 of Far Cry 2 in 67 minutes. From the end of the training mission all the way to the end of the act. End of the act. 67 minutes. That's my record so far. I'm trying to trying to beat it or at least match it okay here we are Mike's bar Ugh, the river journey is over so just run over here grab up this truck and head on into the lumber camp to meet Ribbon and he's gonna tell us what's up great to be back on dry land again And apparently the lumber camp is deserted, so we won't have to deal with any enemies when we get there. That's a plus. Not that I mind, but you know how it is when you get in a rut sometimes. You know, kill, kill, kill. Nice to get away from the grind, you know. Okay, so here we are. There's the building that we first rescued our buddy way back in the beginning of the game. Ruben, Thank the you man. for me. I apologize for these dreadful conditions. This was the only safe place I could think of. I hear that Kwasi sent you to Goka Force to kill Dr. Gakumba. Yeah. So it's true. Yeah. The APR has launched a massive offensive in Northern District, and the word is you were meant to be their first target. No kidding. You're lucky to be alive. They are still looking for you and the other foreigners as well. You've all been declared spies. I don't know if you've heard that bit of perverse news. The soldiers are on their way to Mike's bar. They intend to line up all your friends against the wall and shoot them one by one. Not my buddy Flora, no, 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 no. They're rounding up all the villagers as well. Troops are sweeping for civilians in Pala at the moment. They'll reach for the Malaya's church before long. When they get there, they will kill everyone inside. Of that, you can be sure. You could help them, you know. Not everyone, there's not enough time for that. But you could go to Mike's or the church. Mike's. I suppose you have to make that choice. Mike's. I have to go. A car is on his way. I have arranged transport to Mosate Sileo in the south. I should be safe there. For a while, anyway. Good for you, Ruben. You're a good man. Keep up the good fight. Be careful, they're looking for you. Okay, so we're going to Mike's. The other choice is to go to Pala, the church in Pala. That's too far away. So just drive on over to Mike's. And then I'm going to use this, use my map in the lumber camp area because it's, you know, check out the roads. There's just this labyrinth. It's just this big mess. I'm pretty fucked up. <laughs> so I could use the map to get out of here. Looks like it's a plate of spaghetti. Alright, so I'm at. So, uh, head on over to Mike's bar, and you'll see a whole bunch of soldiers there just shooting the shit out of Mike's bar. And what you gotta do is make it inside Mike's bar alive. And I found the easiest way to do it is just drive on down the road and run over any soldiers you can. Usually I get more than that. Anyway, so that's good enough. Got one. And just go around this side of Mike's bar. And all I have to do is make it in a line, like I said. Get to the door. Oops, I overshot. Shit. Okay. Shit, I barely made it in a line. <laughs> so, that's how you do that. <laughs> Actually, this will be to my advantage. Hey, Flora. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? Need help with the fridge? Hey, darling. Okay, so this part, you pass out no matter what. No matter how much of a fight you put up, you pass out. So, seeing as how it's a speed run, I want to, you know, get whacked as quickly as possible. Can you whack me? There we go. Okay, good. So, moving right along here. Like they just piled me up in the back of the truck. Whoops. 
Hey. Hey guys. I fell off. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta find our way through the sandstorm to a building. And you always know if you're going the wrong way because your character will put his hands up in front of his face like that, you know. So as long as you don't have your hands up in front of your face, you're you're going in the generally generally the right direction. So just keep heading in that direction even though you can't see where you're going. And you'll eventually run into this building. Here it is. And you'll pass out again. <laughs> what a day. Gonna need some Excedrin after this. And now we get to talk to the Jackal again. Stop hey, dude, what's shaking? Thought you'd be dead by now. You're stronger than I thought. But not strong enough to stop the APR. They screwed you pretty good. So we've got new men in office. Now what do you think's gonna happen? You already know. The whole world knows. First, they'll take everything they can get their hands on. Rob the banks and the stores. Then, the men will be lined up against the wall and shot. Chop children's arms off and cut the tenants in the necks. And the women... It's a goddamn disease for it is. A cancer. You see it, they can't get enough. They just take and take until it kills them. And once they're gone, someone else takes their place. And their disease too. Every cell is infected. And the longer you stay, the deeper the virus goes. In the end, nobody will be left, just the disease. So what do you deal with this particular situation? Quarantine the patients. Or you just get dirty along with the rest of them. I got a better idea. Why don't you just give me a gun, and then I can shoot you. Then the game will be over. You know, that was like my original objective. No, you don't like that idea? Just a suggestion. Okay. Stay close, Matara. You don't want to shoot you by mistake. You! Don't move. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm oh, not discovered. All that for a bit. Yeah, okay. Thought you were dead for sure. You are right. Well, some guy just pulled a crowbar out of my leg. The Other than that, I'm fine. Me. Situation in the north not good, China. They're after us. Gotta figure out the next step. Nothing broken. No. No bullet wounds. No. You want out of here, right? Yep. No problem. We'll bring a track round even for you here at the shelter. Okay. There's a condition. Oh, boy. Go back to Laboa and kill Kuasi. Kill Kuasi now? The man's holding a tooth brevy, standing on a truck, fully exposed. You oh, can do it. Boy. When the storm dies down, you'll be able to drive south. Jeez. First Dr. Kakumba and now Kuasi. You'll be at the crossroads. Shot China. We're done here. Round up. Pit, you're riding with me. I'll explain on the way down. Killing all my former employers. <laughs> the American dream. <laughs> 